right, hey y'all. Oracle Scarlet Dragon here with your love reading. Well, it's kind of like a love reading. <laughs> I apologize this is getting out so late. My computer, my last computer was wiped um, and everything's gone on it. And I had to figure out something else. And it is sad, but stuff happens and you just gotta keep going on. So, I wanted you guys to know that. This is for um, Pisces, anyone that has Pisces energy anywhere in their chart. This is for you. So this is shifting your beliefs to manifest true love, all right? Because we need to shift some of our beliefs to manifest true love. Um, what we have here, what Pisces needs to know about, clearing limited beliefs about love. First card that comes out, we have death rites. Saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. So, I'm feeling like with limiting beliefs about love, this may be feeling like, I don't know, I'm picking up this like abandonment. We're having to let go of people might be hard for you and that's all right but at the same time it's just natural i mean the cycles the seasons different things changes happens we have to honor those things um we honor the moments that people were in our life and then when they have to go um like it doesn't mean that person doesn't have any love for you at all or that you don't have any love for them. Just things change. Some people outgrow other people. Some people are just not good being together because it's dangerous. Um, and then just some people's journeys and paths go separate ways because their life journey and path is going somewhere else than where this person's going. But that doesn't mean that there's not gonna be more good things that come in your life and that you're not gonna have uh, even better stuff that happens. Being a human, um, we go through ups and downs all the time. It's never gonna be just straight happiness or straight sadness. It shouldn't be that way. We should be allowed to feel our emotions, though, as well. So limiting beliefs about love is, I feel like, don't feel that goodbye means that there's no love there. Or that's not being loved when you have to say goodbye to someone. Because being in truth and respecting yourself... And when you got to say goodbye to someone because they're just not fitting in your life at the time is actually showing real true love to them because it's a destructive relationship at that time and it's showing real true love to you it can be considered I guess tough love but that is true love and unconditional love sometimes can be tough and you, know, you have to say goodbye to some people so they can grow in their life and so you can grow and advance in your life it's not anything mean but yes it can hurt all right next we have letting go of past attachments so we have prey stalked invaded watched So letting go of, I feel like, obsessive habits or obsessive people because someone being an obsession or lust or any of those kind of lower vibrational things is not showing love. 
it's actually something else. So, if you have been stalked or watched or um, what else am I getting with this? Or even if you could be watching someone you know, checking social medias or wanting to know what's up with people. It's time to let that go. It's not healthy to watch, be, in, be stuck in the past. That's really what that is. It's like sticking yourself in the past and you're not living your life. You're not, you know, going after the things you like and that you enjoy that can bring you happiness. You're too busy watching someone else. Now, if this was happening to you, depending on what level it is, if you need to, you know, get uh, paperwork for, what is that called? Protection order to be someone to be away from you um, because it's that bad and for you to, you know, see it for what it is and don't be like oh I love this person it's like okay yeah you have love for this person but th this is not good this is not healthy that's gonna have to be away from you all right and even with yourself if that's something that you know it doesn't have to be to those extremes where someone's like outside their house or whatever um, it's just could be any form of like trying to yeah, like still looking at the person and there's hurt there or he's just needing healing and to um, you know move on with your life so you can have a life being stuck in the past is being stuck in the past that's not living and we're here for living because that's what's going to bring joy and happiness and new love and love coming in from all different places. All right, next we have being your own best friend or becoming your own best friend. Her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. So it's saying to be your own best friend showing love to yourself, respecting yourself, and respecting and honoring other people and showing true love to them, there has to be endings, um, changes, different things going on in your life um, that have to happen. It, it seems like it might just happen. So, to not see this as so horrible and sad which it can be and there's nothing wrong with having that emotion but also see it as this is very good for your soul and your being to grow and being your own best becoming your own best friend that's what we need to do is love ourselves more you know have compassion for ourselves more caring about ourselves more we deserve to live and have our life. So that's something you need to do to be your own best friend and to show true love to you and whoever else is around you in any of your situations and your relationships. All right, we have connecting to source. We have nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. So I feel like with this is that immediately that you're someone who is highly honored in the astral and through bloodlines. Um, not really typically blood, well, not saying just this bloodline that you're in. But throughout lifetimes, that your spirit is a high level spirit. And it's time for you to connect with, you know, things. Okay, something that I really 
feel that is true is like things that you're drawn to like certain cultures maybe certain things that you are interested in might be something that you have done in a past life and that you have that skill and ability you need to build more on those skills and abilities and also in your knowledge of those cultures also I feel with this card and having high standards is having high standards for yourself um, when when loving yourself and respecting yourself and making sure that you're connecting to your intuition going within meditating all right that should be on the top of your list next we have um, understanding the opposite sex or people you know when you're in relationships we have ecstasy yielding rapture and bliss don't get caught up in this came out in reverse but don't get caught up in lust um, or fantasy making things something that they're not um, people are who they are in front of you um, doesn't mean people can't change but people show you who they are in front of you don't go oh you know they could be this person in the future or I want them to be this person or I want them to be my lover even though we don't have that kind of relationship we have an enemy's relationship don't try to make it out to be something that it's not and also take relationships in a whole um, we think of starting out in a game starting out in a relationship is first meeting someone that is the start of a relationship and then how well you know this person how you hung out you've been with this person yeah you it's good to like someone that you're hanging out with or that you have a relationship with so we can go to that friend status so you can know each other more but not just rush into a relationship have sex with someone and then be uncomfortable and embarrassed because it's like oh my gosh we barely even know each other oh somehow we're super in love now oh, really are you sure about that or is that lust lusting after flesh and to be loved and in fantasy no see people for who they are if you barely know them don't sleep with them you know get to know people become actual friends with everyone that you know and that you want to have a relationship with all right set those boundaries next we have Developing your communication skills. We have enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. So, what's going to help you develop your communication skills? Is definitely going within, connecting with your intuition, connecting with your true self, listening to yourself, not everything else around you. Um, also, gaining inspiration from others is going to help you be able to speak and communicate with others um, just on things that you guys like and that you enjoy and that you find have interest in. That's something that you want to talk about with people. Um, also, when you get, you know, that light bulb hits and it's like you're putting a piece of the puzzle together. Um, and that's going to help you communicate with other people as well because you have received that information so I feel like this is very uh, straight to the point and just making sure that you connect to your higher you know your higher self which is your intuition and listening to your gut feelings and how things make you feel and what you think about them Next, we have embracing online dating or dating in general. We have here burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, and reach. 
So, I feel like this is what it's pretty much saying. Uh, you know, it, it's like you're tired. You, you've been going after a lot of things. And maybe it's time to rest. You know, be by yourself for a little while. It's good to be single. And to really find yourself, find your niche, think, find your path. That's what people should be doing, you know, right after high school or even when they're young and growing up and just kind of learning the things that they like, learning about themselves. A lot of times we get pushed out, you know, it's like after high school and having kids, finding out what you're into and things like that because people didn't teach us a lot of these things, you know, or have a great guardians to show us to how to do these, you know, what we're how to find ourselves and things like that. So definitely do that at this time and not really worry about dating and um, you know, going out and being with someone at this time. Um, it says right here what you're facing we have a uh, hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. So, also, uh, just be aware who's in your space. And definitely, I feel with this hunter, go after what you want. You know? I, I heard someone say, oh, only guys should be able to ask, you know, females on a date. Nah, not nowadays. We go after what we want. We go after everything we want. It's our life. You know? And if we get denied, hey, well, that, I guess, wasn't part of our, our path. Something else great will be along. So become that hunter and go after the things that you want in your life. All right. Awesome, Pisces. Well, I hope you all all enjoyed this reading. And that to give you some clarity, if you like to hit the like button. If you love to hit the love button. No. <laughs> Um, and uh, subscribe remember to keep creating your reality we're the ones that is in control of part of us ourselves we also contribute to making our reality so keep going after creating your reality alright make the life you want to see and want to live in if you look around the life that you created right now and you don't like certain things Take care of it. All right. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.